Let's join 10 on your side's Andy Fox now also live in Richmond with more on where this all started and Johnny Williams request to meet with state officials about his product. Andy. Well, it all started uh, when we first interviewed him back in August of 2013, and he said from the very start that he knows he's done nothing wrong. But now we're going to show you some of that report that we did a year ago to put this story now into context. I've made an apology, returned gifts. Uh, and try to do everything I can to restore that trust. Back on August 13th, 2013, then Governor Bob McDonald scandal all around the Johnny Williams gifts and loans public, the governor in full retreat. I've made apologies for things that have been a distraction for the people of Virginia because uh, I've enjoyed uh, the trust of the people for a long time in office. Trust. Even today, his former staffers, one by one, said there is no one in politics they respect more that they would work for him again, even after all this. A jury instruction, evidence alone of good character can create reasonable doubt and set McDonald free from federal felonies. At that same gathering in August of 2013, we found Dr. William Hazel, McDonald's Secretary of Health and Human Resources, who met with Williams at the urging of McDonald. The story is what he testified to on the stand one year later. We meet with people that the governor sends us. We meet with people that just call and come in. So it's it's part of our job to learn what's going on in the world and, and to see how it might apply to government. Dr. Hazel insists nothing was ever promised or given to Johnny Williams, who showered the McDonald's with gifts and loans. Do you mm -hmm. regret taking the gifts in the first place? Do you regret taking the loans in the first place? Well, you know, loans are a, a part of uh, running a small business. Mm -hmm. My sister and I have a small business. <clears throat> I assume that you know, if that loan had come from a bank, nobody would be talking about it. Of course, we now know those loans not reported to banks are some of the toughest challenges in McDonald's defense. McDonald, confident now and back then that he's done nothing wrong. We've done a complete audit uh, by the former Democrat Attorney General, uh, Tony Troy. And uh, he has concluded uh, that there's not uh, a dime of state money that's ever gone to Star Scientific or Johnny Williams. And just moments ago, I asked him about that. I said, why you've been waiting? Have you been wondering which way the jury is going? Just moments ago, we asked him that. Governor, from the start, you said you've done nothing wrong. A day and a half after deliberations, do you think the jury's with you on this? Andy, I can't comment on the jury, you know, if that's uh, why they're impaneled and they'll come out with the right verdict. In your, in your downtime, what have you been doing? What have you been thinking about? Uh, eating and praying and hanging out with my kids. I know How are you hanging in And there? I noticed your son got a haircut. He did. <laughs> <laughs> he has some downtime. He looks better. I need to, I should have been right behind him. I'm getting a little raggedy myself. And the governor giving us a little glimpse behind the scenes of what goes on during the big wait. Jury reconvenes tomorrow, 945. We'll be here in Richmond. Andy Fox, 10 on your side. All right, here's a little more about the trial as it played out. There are a total of 14 counts in the indictment. The McDonald's faced 12 of them together. Some 67 witnesses took the stand during the trial. Bob McDonald himself spent some 24 hours on the stand over several days. The jury instructions are 90 pages long. Our coverage continues at 10 and 11 and on wavy.com.